I am genuinely impressed by the IQ 12 here. Now, I've always thought that the Xiaomi's and the Realme's always had, you know, the best uh, bang for buck, you know, they always offered the best for courier money. But that was until I found out the Vivo has a brand IQ and I just had to check out this phone. Now, today we're going to be talking about the second most powerful phone on the market right now, only beaten by the Red Magic 9 Pro, unfortunately, but hey, that's a gaming phone. And we're going to be taking a look at its cameras, performance, gaming, everything. Also, make sure to stay until the end of this video because I will share with you where you can get this phone at the cheapest possible price. Now, let's get right into it. Alright, let's start with unboxing and here we have the phone which is red because I just didn't want to get the generic white BMW version that everyone else is getting. Uh, it's just, just a little bit boring in my opinion. But you're also gonna find this nice car kind of sticker. I, I mean, I have no idea what you're gonna do with that but hey, if you like cars, there you have it. You have your ordinary silicone case here to protect the phone. We also have a massive 120 watt charger with a USB Type-C to C cable and that's about it. Still a better deal than what Apple or Samsung are gonna give you inside of their boxes. Now my first impressions with this device are that it's absolutely gorgeous and feels super premium and I'm really loving this aluminum frame and the nice texture back as well as the camera bump and wait, is that a periscope telephoto lens with 100 times zoom capability? One way to find out. This phone is not water resistant, but it has an IP64 certificate for being dust proof and water splash proof, which is understandable considering the phone costs a bit under $600, depending on where you get it from. The phone also comes with Gorilla Glass 6 and they have also printed out a screen protector on top of that, so that's appreciated. Still, try to not make it wet, slap on a case and you're good to go. Speaking about the 6.78 inch screen, well, it doesn't disappoint at all. We're talking about an LTPO AMOLED HDR10 screen capable of up to 144Hz depending on your usage and with a resolution of 1260x2800 pixels you've got yourself a great package and a great viewing experience. And yes, it's not a complete 2K display like the Pro version of this phone but honestly you can't even tell the difference. Being an LTPO screen means that it can also switch between 1Hz and 144Hz to save you the most battery when needed. And also let's not forget about the 3000 nits of maximum brightness which is too much for an eye chip worker like me. And how about the dual speakers? Well, there isn't anything fancy like Dolby Atmos or something like that, but here is a test so you can tell me what you think about them. Now before we continue, I would like to quickly mention the sponsor of this video, Fast Comet. Now Fast Comet is a hosting company that you can use to create your own websites from blogs to shops to literally any type of project that you might have and I know that because I'm using them myself. They offer an amazing 24-7 customer and technical support that you can rely on. They are cheaper than most bigger hosting companies out there like GoDaddy, SiteGround and Bluehost. So make sure to give them a try from the link in my description below and that way you can also support me as a creator. Now let's get back into the video. When it comes to the software, you've got yourself a FunTouch 14 on top of Android 14. However, the Chinese version which I have here runs on the slightly different Origin OS 4 and that one is just as good. It's loaded with AI features like a built-in AI voice assistant called Jovi, never heard of that and also an AI image generator and I find this one awesome because usually you would have to download an app from the Play Store and it will ask you to pay for creating any sort of images which is super annoying but this one, this one has it built in and you can generate as many images as you want and it's super cool, there's tons of prompts that you can use so I actually really enjoy that. I spent a solid few hours just going through all the settings and menus and you can tweak all kinds of stuff like the fingerprint animation, how smooth or fast the animations throughout the whole phone are, including how fast it is, there is the monster mode, balance mode, battery saver, you can extend the 
Wi-Fi network with your 5G data and whatnot. And there are even more dynamic effects that you can tweak for absolutely everything, including the charging animation, yes. I'll simply leave you to explore all of these effects so this video doesn't become 20 minutes and let's move on. Alright, so moving on to the performance, we have the almighty Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And as you can see here, the test scores are simply amazing, this phone beats absolutely everything else, besides probably the Red Magic 9 Pro which recently came out. But that one is a gaming phone as I said earlier and not everyone likes them, usually the gaming phones lack some features that the normal phones have and they cut off on that camera and other stuff so that's why I'm not a big fan. That amazing CPU means great battery life as well and you can expect the massive 5000mAh battery to last you at least 2 days with moderate usage and be back up to 100% in just 20 minutes which is absolutely crazy. The IQ12 is buttery smooth no matter what you throw at it and that includes the latest and greatest version of Genshin Impact. I will always use this game as my benchmark because it's simply the heaviest game I know and I've been a fan of it since it came out like 3 years ago. So there is absolutely no lag even on the highest settings and the best thing is that the phone doesn't even get hot. There are quite a few features in the gaming mode as well like the monster mode which boosts the FPS or enhancing the quality of the visuals, there are various tools for recording or streaming your gameplay, blocking notifications and so so much more. I have tested other games as well and the result is the same, so if you'd like some Call of Duty action or any other title, even with intense graphics then this phone got you covered, no worries at all. And if you're enjoying this video so far then I would really appreciate it if you drop a like down below, comment if you have any thoughts about this phone or the video and thank you for sticking until now. Now let's move on. Alright, so let's talk about the camera quality and this is where usually most of the phones will cut costs and put a really crappy camera system or maybe one of the cameras is gonna be like really shitty, but not this one. There is a triple camera lens here and all of the three lenses are pretty damn impressive. We have a main 50 megapixel shooter, a 64 megapixel periscope telephoto with 3x optical zoom and a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now here are some samples I've shot with this phone in different scenarios and I believe this phone is on par with the likes of the Samsung S24 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro and you're getting like 90% of the camera experience from the highest flagship phones for double less price which I find just amazing and even this periscope telephoto lens performs super well, I'm zooming in here all the way to 100 times and even though you cannot get the same results as the S24 Ultra for example, you're getting pretty pretty close to it and that's amazing. The 16 megapixel front camera is a little bit soft but the results are still great and there is also great macro function of the phones, there is just so much details in these photos, it's amazing. No matter if you're shooting during the day, in bright sunlight or during the night, I think that this phone performs exceptionally. But that's my opinion, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments and let's proceed with the video quality as well. So when it comes to the video, actually that surprised me because I didn't expect it to be this good. Plenty of details here and that zoom capability makes it even better at 10 times zoom because the image just becomes suddenly super crisp and that's something that I really like. You can record up to 8K at 30fps on this phone but I still don't see a bloody reason why you would want to do that in the first place. There is zero stabilization and autofocusing doesn't work either from what I can see here. So I don't think I'll be using that too much, it's just not good enough. 4K 30 and 60fps is supported fully and it's super clean, vivid and stabilized, so... During the daytime all of the three camera lenses perform exceptionally, I absolutely love them. And it's just crazy how much value you can put in a smartphone that's just under 600 bucks, where even the micro capability is on another level. Alright guys, so here is the front facing video, unfortunately capable of only like Full HD at 30 FPS, no 4K option, it's becoming a trend uh, on these Chinese smartphones besides the Xiaomi 14 Pro, but yeah, it is what it is, Full HD 30 FPS, let me know what you guys think here, it's a bright sunny day, I mean it's probably the, the best uh, possible scenario here and I think it looks decent, at least from what I can see, uh, but let me know what you think down in the comments. 
and so this is the selfie camera video during the night uh, from what you can see it's a little bit blurry but uh, mind you that I'm not in a well lit area here I am just around the neighborhood and there is only these uh, few city street lights so it's totally understandable that the video is not you know the perfect quality I think it's still totally respectable considering the price range of this phone I believe it's usable just like the front-facing camera, the back one also is not exceptionally good when it comes to nighttime video, but that's expected. Um, there is not so much light in this street and I believe that if you are in a more brightly lit area, even during the night, you will see a lot better results than what I'm seeing here. Honestly, I can't complain too much considering the overall package is so bloody amazing. Alright guys, so this concludes my review for today. The IQ12. All in all, I mean best bang for buck right now, maybe until the next one comes out. And if you'd like to purchase this phone, then I urge you to use TradingShenzen.com. They offer this phone at the best possible price with a one year warranty and they ship to most countries uh, as you can see here. So thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and if you want to watch another review of mine, you can click here.